Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I actually want to pick up where I left off yesterday with the Security Flaws Meltdown and Spectre, which we now know a lot more about than we did as of the filming of yesterday's video. Now originally yesterday it looked like Intel processors were the ones affected and that would be Intel products made in the past 20 or so years, whereas now it appears that AMD as well as ARM processors are affected by at least one of these security flaws, that one being Spectre, at least according to The Verge. However, meltdown which seems to be the more pressing matter right now only affects Intel at least again according to The Verge. Now before I go any further there are going to be several links down below uh, resources that you can check out to learn more about these security flaws but I'm going to be focused mostly on the Guru 3D article which covers benchmarks from the patch that fixes the meltdown bug uh, for Intel processors. So there's actually good news here with the patch it looks like for gamers at least you're going to see maybe about a 2% penalty for installing this patch and that's just in some games other games saw no penalty at all from an FPS pre-patch and post patch at least according to guru 3d and no they didn't test a ton of different games but there were several there and it looks like uh, frame rates are gonna be right about where they were before the patch and that was actually continued from uh, synthetic benchmarks as well as other ones like a testing disk speed of, of SSDs and they tested some very fast NVMe drives as well as things like RAM speeds, uh, compression, decompression, there's really not a huge difference there if you're just doing what I would call standard desktop applications. Now what's not clear from Guru 3D's article is how servers are going to be affected by uh, any patches that come from those, uh, things like running multiple virtual machines on one server or doing other things. Uh, data centers, for example, may have a, a bigger issue with performance hits from any patches that come, but it looks like for the average desktop user, it's not going to be a big deal. Now the other vulnerability is called Spectre and it does affect AMD and ARM processors. And AMD released a statement yesterday, again linked down below, but uh, in AMD's statement they looked at three specific vulnerabilities and AMD was only definitely vulnerable to one of those and there was another one that it's thought AMD is vulnerable to, but I, at least at the time of releasing the statement, it didn't look like there was actually any demonstration of an AMD processor being vulnerable to it. Also, to my knowledge right now, it's not clear what uh, a good fix for Spectre is going to look like. Obviously, Meltdown is going to be fixed in the coming days, weeks, or months with software patches, although I'm not sure that Spectre, at least from what I've read, is going to be that easy to deal with. And the only good news there with Spectre is that it also looks like it's the harder of the two flaws to exploit for uh, some sort of malicious tool. So um, at least there's that, I guess. So this is definitely a developing story and we'll sort of keep an ear to the ground on any uh, details that continue to come out from it. Again, links for some valuable resources to continue reading up on it are down below as well as the Guru 3D uh, benchmarks that they ran both pre-patch and post-patch on an Intel processor. So if you're running an Intel system and you're curious what that patch uh, is gonna look like once you're done, that's a good resource. So what I'm most curious from you guys is how these security flaws are affecting your purchasing decisions. Uh, are you putting off an upgrade or a build waiting to sort of see what comes of all this? Let me know down below. And of course, if you like this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. There's the same tag for your convenience. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video.